High in the San Gabriel Mountains, Mount Baldy was the destination for stage two of the Amgen Tour of California women's race, empowered with SRAM, the 11th event of the UCI Women's World Tour. But it was in Ontario, a winding mountainous 74 kilometers south, that the riders met the public and signed on for this, the queen stage of the three-day race. Today it will be another hard day and uh, I think today the general classification uh, will be pretty done after the stage because uh, we, had, uh, we, we will have a lot of uh, climbing to do. I try to find my own rhythm and for the others if they have something left then I think um, we have riders that can uh, play a big role in the end and try to attack. After the wind of stage one, sunshine greeted the peloton as they rolled out for what was to be an explosive stage. Wide open roads greeted them for the opening kilometres, and despite a few attacks, it was a steady start, though Lisa Brenauer timed a strong effort to perfection, winning the early intermediate sprint. On to the opening climb of Glendora Mountain Road, and for a second day it was Kajias Metler's Olba Zablenskaya who put a nose in the wind leading the bunch up its 12-kilometre slopes. Former race winner Trixie Warwick of Trek Segafredo kept a close watch behind, but over the top, and with 12 kilometres remaining, three women broke clear. WNT Rotors' Katrin Hamas attacked first, leading Corin Rivera and Israeli champion Omar Shapira up the road. Already eroded by the first climb, a reduced bunch seemed happy to let them go, though even on the fast descent they were never allowed much more than 30 seconds lead, with Mount Baldy now looming. The trio worked efficiently together as the gradient began to bite, but eventually, on the early slopes, it was Shapira on her own to tackle the closing seven kilometers. The 24-year-old was strong, battling the steepest section of the climb and holding her advantage into the closing five kilometers. But behind, the Bowles Dolman's team of race leader Anna van der Breggen were eating into her advantage. Last year's overall winner Katie Hall took to the front, with Cassia Nivea Doma and Ashley Moorman glued to her wheel, while van der Breggen herself tucked onto the back. Bulls Dormans were too strong for their rivals and the pair struck out up the road, Hall taking the early initiative. Then as a pair they managed a brief rest as they reached the wheel of Shapira with just two kilometres remaining. Behind though, Mulman Passio and Nivia Doma worked their way to within sight of the leaders, though the Polish rider was unable to maintain the pace, eventually dropping back. South African champion Mulman Passio emptied herself in pursuit of a place on the race podium, her fluid pedalling style propelling her ever upward, but the final was to be between the two Bulls Dolmans riders, Hall leading the way into the final first. The American powered towards the line, teammate van der Breggen in the race leader's yellow jersey close to her back wheel, and the pair celebrated a team 1-2 together. It was a hard stage, it's just climbs forever it feels like. We just worked together to try to put as much time into everybody as we could. Um, Anna yeah, is leading the GC and she let me have the stage win, so it's a pretty happy day for everybody. Yeah, really special. You need to have good legs, like I said before, and, and Katie had really great legs today. Uh, and I'm happy we could take a one and two, especially because uh, her family is on top here. So, of course, winning a race is really nice, but if your family is screaming on top, I think it makes it even more special. So, um, yeah, a special day for us. Yeah, I'm really happy. Finally a podium for the year. Um, it's been kind of a tough start for me with just all sorts of bad luck. So um, it's really nice to finally you know, feel like I'm on an upward trend and to be on the podium today. Mulman Passio's efforts were rewarded with third place, while Omar Shapira held on to finish in fifth, with teammate Nivea Domit one place back. Her second place has ensured van der Breggen retains the race lead, with Hall moving into second. German climber Clara Koppenberg moves up into fourth place overall.